Well, Hillary Clinton leads Donald Trump in recent polls, but a closer look at the numbers shows there could be trouble ahead for the Clinton campaign. According to a new Washington Post ABC News national poll, Clinton has 46% support, Trump has 41 among likely voters, with Libertarian Gary Johnson and Green Party candidate Jill Stein each polling in the single digits. The real clear politics average shows the Democrat just shy of 46%, with Trump trailing her by three points. And the race is getting tighter in some key battleground states. According to polls from the Wall Street Journal, NBC and Marist, Clint lead, uh, Clinton leads Trump 45% to 41% in Nevada, 42 to 41 in New Hampshire. Trump leads 46 to 43% in Georgia and 42 41 in Arizona. Joining us now to pick apart some of these numbers, Leslie Marshall, radio host and Fox News contributor. Lars Larson is a syndicated radio host. And Lars, I'm going to start with you. Is Hillary All Clinton right. in trouble? Yes, she is in trouble because you notice that back in August, when the numbers showed that Hillary Clinton might have been as far as 12 points ahead, the story was Hillary Clinton is ascendant. There's no place but up for her. Now that she has fallen from that high point to where she is within the margin of error and effectively neck and neck with Donald Trump, all of a sudden the story is, well, you know, she's still leading by a couple of points. The fact is people see a lot of reasons not to trust Hillary Clinton. That isn't going to matter for committed Republicans or committed Democrats. Democrats. But for the independents and a lot of the swing voters in the middle, it's going to make a big difference. And now with these health issues that have risen to the forefront, as well as her disparaging Americans as a back basket of deplorables, well, I'm one of those deplorables that she disparaged, and I don't like it, and I don't imagine voters are going to like it either. All of that said, uh, you don't have to win by 3% or 2% or even 1%. You can win by a handful of votes. Uh, Leslie, what do you think about it? How, how much trouble is the Clinton campaign in? Oh, I don't think the Clinton campaign is in trouble at all. Lars, if you look at the past few presidential elections, the country has pretty much been split 50-50. And as I have said all along, this will be, and as we go forward, uh, a very tight race. What I think is when you look at Donald Trump and you look at states like Arizona or even Georgia, that's within the margin of error, that's a problem not for Hillary Clinton. That's a problem not only for Donald Trump, but for Republicans. And honestly, polls are a snapshot in time. I'm, I'm very skeptical because in Arizona, uh, you have a very large Hispanic population. In Georgia, you have a large African-American population. So we'll see what happens. But keep in mind, in order to win in November, Donald Trump has to get every state Mitt Romney did, plus some key battleground states. And when I look at the polls on the map, it looks like Hillary is going to be turning some states that are red into blue. Obviously, accuracy of the polls is one of the question marks, Lars. What about enthusiasm? I mean, if Hillary Clinton is uh, counting on uh, the turnout model that, that elected Barack Obama twice, um, does her voting base have the same kind of enthusiasm that his did? I don't see how they can, John, and let me give you some concrete reasons. First of all, among that basket of deplorables that Hillary Clinton disparaged on Friday night are people who believe in traditional marriage. Well, an awful lot of Hispanic voters believe in traditional marriage. They're family-oriented voters. So they see themselves, and if people tell them, this is the, you're in the group that Hillary Clinton is disparaging. Further, how enthused can you get about a candidate who can't stand outside on a pleasant Sunday morning for one hour in 80 degree weather with a breeze blowing and 30 percent humidity oh. she can't handle an hour outside she collapses on the way to the van you're going to get excited about voting for somebody who appears to be such a fragile candidate i don't see it all right the uh washington post had suggested uh leslie that that her uh, health issues were uh no you know were not a campaign issue they've sort of backed away from that now what do you think about uh, the, the situation that happened yesterday morning? Honestly, when I uh, got the alert on my phone, uh, I turned to my, uh, me my orthopedic uh, surgeon husband, who has an MD, and I said, uh, can an individual uh, be president if they have pneumonia? And he goes, 
Heck yeah, I used a different word though. And then he said, oh, look, and he goes, pneumonia is a respiratory infection. He said there are varying degrees of pneumonia. Um, I have had walking pneumonia. And by the way, guys, my 77 year old mother had pneumonia last year. She was vice president of a company at the time. She didn't skip a beat. She had a couple of weeks where she was on antibiotics. And so I, I don't think that this makes her ill health. As a matter of fact, Lars, the fact that at nearly 70 years of age, in such humidity, with allergies, and having some 30%? Issues and having pneumonia that she showed that she showed up, I, I think that's that's pretty remarkable. Well, let, let's hey, yeah, go ahead, Lars. Well, I was just going to say, John, you live in New York. I don't live in New York, but I thought 30 percent was a gift back where you live. It, it was fairly pleasant yesterday compared <laughs> with especially how it's been for the previous week. Um, but let's get back to. Um, the the comment of the basket of deplorables and so forth yeah. when, when hillary clinton um described you know the people xenophobes and so forth if donald trump is essentially in, enjoying the support of half the country as leslie just suggested and half of his supporters are as mrs clinton suggested what is that saying about you know those people are I guess it doesn't. It says that they're concerned about things. I would phrase it differently than Mrs. Clinton. She says they're xenophobic. Are they worried about people coming here as refugees and turning into terrorists, as several dozen of them have been convicted of doing? Yes. Are they concerned about traditional marriage and take a different view? Well, before the Supreme Court imposed that marriage decision on us, 30 states voted for traditional marriage. So again, those people are in the Hillary basket of deplorables. Uh, if they're, are they concerned about illegal aliens being in the country and our immigration laws not being enforced? Yes, they're concerned. Now, Hillary found a negative way to portray each of those beliefs, but if you look at what she's talking about, those are the beliefs of an awful lot of Americans, Americans who are concerned about the safety and security of this country and about having marriage redefined by people in black robes. As uh, Brett Baer pointed out, it's actually the second time that she has used that particular phrase. It doesn't sound like she'll be using it anymore. Uh, Leslie Marshall, Lars Larson, thanks very much. Thank you, John. Thank you, John.